Okay, now let's talk about snapshot testing. So snapshot testing, it takes snapshots of the component being tested. So the first time you run, it creates the snapshot and the next time you run, it goes and compares the, the new version to the old version. And if it conflicts, it, it shows you and says that you have some snapshot problems. So sometimes these changes are expected and then you just go and update the snapshot, but other times might be a bug on your code. So the samples of the snapshot testing are, are written in, with React. And to save us time, I'll copy the example of the official repository. So we have those tests and if I, okay, I'll need this folder snapshot, but I'll go in and I'll have to download the entire repository in order to, to download, to have only the, that folder. And for coincidence, I have my, my commit here that I did for the, for a previous episode about the docs, but let's go in and download the zip. Okay, I'm here with the Jest repository. I'll go to the examples and I'll copy this snapshot folder to my project copy folder and I'll name it snapshot testing. So here we have the, the snapshots already created. I'll delete them and we'll be testing this link. And that's the example we have on the documentation. We can see that we have the it here, but it's the same of using test. Okay, but I'll, I'll keep the, the, the it. Okay, so here we have a link component and this link component is this React component here. And we are rendering this link component and matching the, the snapshot. So actually, let me install the dependencies first. Okay, now let's run the tests. One test failed. Okay, it's about this syntax. It is not supported because it is experimental. So let me open. Okay, so with our our functions, uh, our functions doesn't have a, a, a this. So in that case, it we use the this of the of this class, uh, but it's not supported here with I think this version of Bubble. I'm not, I don't know. Uh, so here I'm using a common function, and and I must bind the this of the class to this function, and that's what I'm doing here. So let's go back, let's test it. And okay, six snapshots have been written. So if I open here and open the link, I can see my snapshots here. In this case, it's the first example that we have in the documentation, that's the example. So let's go back and change it to Instagram. Now let's run the test again. It's supposed to break because I have this snapshot here and now I'll have a different value here. And it fails and it was expected to fail. But we can, since I know that I'm just changing the test, I'm not breaking anything, I know I can update the snapshot. And that's what I'll do with this command update snapshot.
And because I'm using NPM, uh, I must use this syntax to pass parameters to, to the call. So you can hear you can see here that it calls the jazz with the update snapshot and it updates my snapshot. You can also use the syntax with this U. Okay, let's change it again to Facebook. And now I'll change another file to Instagram and let's see that both will break. Okay, the both fail. And here it's saying that if I want to update just one just one snapshot, I can use the task pattern name and run the update snapshots just for, for the one I want. So in that case, I'm running the update snapshot, but also I'm passing the task pattern name and I'll pass the pattern of the correctly. So it will run only this one and it will update only this one. Okay, something went wrong. What I miss here? I think I forgot this space. Oh yeah, sorry. Okay, so just this one has has run, and it, it only this one has been updated. So if I try to run the test again, probably the second one will break. And yes, as expected, the second one broke. So. I'll just update all snapshots. Okay, perfect. We can also use the interactive snapshot modes if you want to update the snapshots. So, okay, let me open. Okay, let me run here with the watch command. So now just is watching the files. Uh, there will be probably an explanation in, in future in future sections, but if not, I'll explain on the API reference about it in, in detail. But okay, uh, so if I change here to Instagram, you can see that it runs automatically. And one snapshot failed, so let me sh show all the options. And if I want to update the snapshots, I just can set to I. And here I have this first one that is asking me to update. I will, yes, I want to update the snapshot. And okay. We also have inline snapshot. So this option, it injects the snapshot inside the code that's been tested. So actually let me create a new file for this. Oh, sorry, I was on the the wrong the wrong one okay inline snapshot it goes and injects the snapshot inside the the test file let me copy this match inline snapshot and I'll use this link test I'll just replace the to match snapshot to to match inline snapshot and see what happens Oh, actually, it's saying on the documentation that I need the prettier, so I'll install prettier. Okay, so now let's run and see what happens. And it created the the snapshot here inside my my test file. So. Okay, oh, it also warns me that I have one snapshot obsolete and that was the old one that was written, that was written when I, I was using the match snapshot. So I can come here and, and run the update snapshot. Uh, let's continue. And now if I change to Facebook, It fails. Okay, it was supposed to fail. And because I have this in line, I can go and just change to Facebook or to Facebook here and test it. And it will work because I know what will be rendered. Okay, perfect. And also we can update the the inline snapshot with the command update snapshots.
Okay, we also have the property matchers. So let me copy this example. Let me create a new test. Inline to be easier. Okay, because I have this date that will always be different, and I also have this ID that will sometimes that will probably be different because it is a random value. Uh, if I try to run this test again, it will break even if I didn't change the code. Okay, to change that, just give us this property matchers, uh, so we can specify that the created at will be any date and the ID will be any number. So let me copy this, paste it here, and actually I must erase this. So let's see what happens. Okay, and it creates a snapshot for me saying that it expects any date and any number. Uh, so if I try to run the test again, it will work, perfect. But the name, if I change it, It will remain validating because it is not a property matcher. It is a fixed name. So to fix it, I'll just update update the snapshots. So here's some best practice. It's saying that you for it's saying for you to treat the snapshots as code. So you 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 want to keep them readable, you want to keep them short, focused, and you also want to commit the snapshots. The test should be deterministic and the test should be deterministic and that's the opposite of what we have here. So here we have a date that always changes. But using mocks, we can override this pattern, and so create. So let me mock the the date now, and I'll change this new date to date now. So every time I call this date now, it will return this value for me, this millisecond. And so let's test it. Actually, let me remove this expect in date, and actually let me remove the snapshot, and let's create it again. Okay, it creates with the number that I specified here. So if I try to run the test again, it will remain with this date. You're saying for you to use descriptive snapshot names, but that also that's also true for other types of tests. You don't want to have uh, vague name, so if the test fails, you will have only a vague name to, to search for. So it must be like specific with the name of the test. Okay, some frequently asked questions. So snapshots written automatically on continuous integration systems. Okay, uh, after the JAS20, you must specify the, the CI to update snapshot, snapshot with the update snapshot comma. Snapshots files should be committed because let's suppose you, you you don't commit your snapshots and another team member goes and and fetches the repository so, and when it when he runs the the task all the snapshots will be created and and that breaks the goal of snapshots because you don't have past past snapshots so you don't have nothing to compare and it will just run and with no purpose Snapshot testing works for everything that you can serialize, so it's not limited to React or React Native. I don't know what visual regression is, but here it's saying that visual regression, it, it compares pixel by pixel, and snapshot testing, it just compares serializable stuff. So I guess that snapshot testing is way performatic than the visual regression. Snapshot testing provides additional value but does not replace the common unit testing. So you, you, you must keep writing unit tests. So here it's saying that snapshot testing are performatic because the JAS team always worry about performance. 
So when you have conflicts on the snapshot files, here it's suggesting that you don't try to merge it by hand. Uh, just see if it's a, a problem with merge or it's a problem with the test. And if it's just probably with the merge, you just update the snapshot file running the just update snapshot. Test-driven development requires that you write the, the snapshots prior to, to the component. But that's not approachable for snapshot testing because it will take a lot of work to do that. And here it's saying that snapshot testing uh, work with code coverage.